What's going on guys, Crown the Air here, and I got a thrilling, awesome new video, and I haven't been around for a couple weeks, because I've just been kind of on a little break, doing the real life thing all over again, because, you know, real life happens, but I'm here. So, you guys ever heard of Magic the Gathering? No? Yes? Whoa. So, right now, I have an awesome video, right here, right now, to show you. We are going to talk about... The Blessed versus Cursed Dual Pack. And you're wondering, where did this go? It's right here. Don't worry. See, it's right here. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys some the cool things that come with it. So let's get right to it. So as you can see, this is what you get inside the Blessed versus Cursed Dual Pack for Magic the Gathering. Now, it runs about $20. And it's really worth it because Shadows of Innistrad comes out about two weeks from now. And I'm going to the pre-release next week, so that's really going to be fun. So you get two deck boxes, one for Blessed, one for Cursed. So you get your two deck boxes. Woo! I almost knocked my camera over. That would have been terrible. <laughs> you get Rules Reference Guide. And you get the Blessed versus Cursed whole fold-out paper. Where it has everything that contains both of the 60 card pre-constructed decks. So you get 120 cards for 20 bucks. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. So let's put these aside. And let's just worry about what this actually contains. Now, as you can see, I've kind of already opened it. So you get a blue and a red right here. And they have the Magic the Gathering symbols on it. And when I bought this, a kid at the card shop told me that those dice are worth 10 bucks. Very interesting. Very interesting. So, we're going to look at the curse, the blessed side first. And right off the bat, you get to notice, because it'll be in the packaging, you get to see Ghost, or sorry, Geist of St. Traft, a legendary spirit creature, or spirit cleric. And this is a very popular, popular card for Commander, for uh, Light Blue among the other popular cards, and it's a very nice card as well, and this is the new artwork for it, it's foil. So we're gonna go from there. Champion of the Parish is the next card. We have Dearly Departed. We have Eerie Interlude. Okay, now, this is gonna be one of the six cards in this thing that is worth, that, six cards, I should say in this thing, but six cards, one of the six, right here, that are Shadow of Innistrad previews. We have Eerie Interlude, uh, Creasing Devotion, <clears throat> Captain of the Mist, Cathedral Sanctifier, Doomed Traveler, Nephilia Smuggler, Moorland Inquisitor, Topogeist, and the second one of six right there. Another top of guys. Thru Let me get that out of the way. Thraben Heretic. Elder Kather. Elder Kather and Kathar again. Village Bell Ringer. Tandem Lookout. Chapel Geist. Emancipation Angel. Fiend Hunter. Slayer of the Wicked. Tower Geist. Mr. Raven, Spectral Gate Guards, Griff Vanguard, Gold Knight Redeemer, Voice of the Provinces, Sharpened Pitchfork, Bounds of Faith, Gather the Townsfolk, Gather the Townsfolk again, Momentary Blink, Butcher's Cleaver, Rebook. Another rebook. And this is the other one. So this is the third of six uh, previews. Part of the pages. Then we got the lands. We have Sarah Sanctuary. Tranquil Cove. Tranquil Cove again. Tranquil Cove again. Another Tranquil Cove. Another one. Then 
planes, 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 islands, island, 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 island. <clears throat> Angel token. Human token. Another human token, another human token, another human, another human. And then we go right back to Ghost of St. Treft. Or Geist, sorry. I always call him a ghost. Spirit, ghost, same thing. So let's take a look at... The cursed side of this of these cards. Very excited about this too. I was really happy when I bought this. So this is number four of six. This is the Mind Rack Demon. And if you can see, it has a new ability right here called Delirium. This is new for Shadows of Innistrad. Um, most of all the Delirium cards really require you to have four different card types in your graveyard and then you get a very nice thing. So if you can see right here, it says at the beginning of your upkeep, you lose you lose four life unless there are four or more card types among cards in your graveyard. So we got Mind Rack Demon. Heaven Ghoul Rune Blinder. <clears throat> Grave Crawler. Harvester Souls. Sever the Bloodline. Unbreathing Horde. Diagra Diagraph Ghoul. Butcher Ghoul. Another Butcher Ghoul. Screeching Scab. Another Screeching Scab. Screeching Scab. Tooth Collector. Here's number four. Right here. Number four of... Or sorry, number five of the previews for Shot of the Strad. As you can see, has Delirium. Scrape Skin Drake. Ghoul Riser. Ghoul Razor. Stitch Drake. Another Stitch Drake. <sighs> Sorry. Diagraph Captain. Another Diagraph Captain. Abattoir Ghoul. Driver of the Dead. Falcon, uh, Falcon Wrath Noble. <clears throat> Makeshift Muller. Relentless Scabs. Appetite for Brains, Human Frailty, Cobbled Wings, Compelling Deterrence, which I believe this is the sixth one of it, we'll get to it in a real second, Cobbled Deterrence, Victim of the Night, Tribute to Hunger, Forbidden Alchemy, Barter and Blood, Dread Return, Moan of the Unhallowed. Another Moan of the Unhallowed. Let me go to Lands, right here. We have Dismal Backwater. Dismal Backwater. Another Dismal. Another Dismal. So we have four of those. And then the rest are just swamps and islands. And then we go, boom. Like so. Then we have Human Token. With this really cool Spirit Token. It almost feels like it glows in the dark. And then we have Zombies. Zombies. Zambi. And then right back to Manrak Demon. So, so that is that. Let me uh, switch the camera back to me here. So that is the blessed versus cursed dual deck. Twenty bucks at butt runs you. Really worth it if you haven't. Um, especially people who are new to Magic. If you haven't got to see the previous packs before, like me. This card, this pack, contains cards from Innistrad, the whole Innistrad block, the first one, and the six cards, the six cards, from Shadows of Innistrad. And yes, Compelling Deterrence is the last one that was the sixth preview, Compelling Deterrence, which is a blue spell card. And I'm really happy with it. I really think they did a really good job putting that together and putting a lot of the cards that, um, for me, would feel that I would put in those types of decks as well. But they also did a really great job giving you like giving us cards that are gonna help us with the Shadows of Innistrad. And I'll put that and if you want to see more spoilers, I'll put down down the below uh mtgspoilers.com. Not really affiliated with them, but they're really awesome. You get to see the tokens which have really awesome artwork. The packaging, the pre-release packaging, um what promo cards, what has been announced, and it's really awesome. So I'm out of here. I'll see you guys next week with a new video. I'm glad to be back. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope some of you that play Magic will totally give me a message on my Facebook page, which the link will be down below. Follow me on there so you can get all the news and all the really weird statuses that I post on there about building bookshelves and all that. So please, please hit that button down there below, that subscribe if you're new to this page. I'm going to do more stuff about Magic because I'm going to be going to the pre-release. So I'm going to bring this camera and I'm going to open my pre-release package. I'm going to film myself doing it and that's going to be a good time. So I'm out of here. See you guys next week with a new video. Subscribe down below. Follow me on Facebook. Give this a thumbs up. Comment down below what you th what you think was your cool card from here or your favorite magic card of all time. Now I'm out of here. Have a good one. See you next week.